Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. And today's date is Wednesday the 14th of March 2018 and the time has just gone midday 12pm UK time. This week's Chart of the Week is Prudential and the company was in the, the news today uh, because it has announced uh, plans to essentially break up to, to demerge its M&G Investments Division. Um, the aim of the operate, uh, the aim of the demerger is so M&G M&G Prudential can focus on the European side of the business, whereas Prudential can focus on the Asian and the American side of the operation. And the and the, and the share price has pushed higher on the back of today's result. Now, look, looking at the chart uh, on the on the weekly chart, look at the stock on the weekly chart, we can see um, that the share price has been in a fairly solid upward trend since. Uh, since the summer of 2016 and the share price went on to hit an all-time high um, in January of this year but it was caught up in the global stock market sell-off but it has recouped most of its ground. In fact you can see as the stock was pushing higher here it's actually now trading back above its 50-week moving average. Taking a look at the share price action now on a daily chart once again we can see that the, the, the positive trend is quite evident. Classic example of higher highs and higher lows. Granted, the low here in February during the major sell-off did manage to take out the recent low here. Uh, but as, but as we can see here, the share price has been pushing higher since. Uh, and recently, the, the stock has been pushing higher. Uh, it, it, hit, it hit its highest level in about six weeks. And that, if you take a look at the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, we can see that positive momentum is on the rise. So as the share price is pushing higher, that's been confirmed by the increase in positive momentum. So the momentum is clearly with the buyers, clearly with the bulls. So the, the share price is pushing higher, uh, and, and if, if we continue to push on higher from here, we could actually be looking at retesting the recent all-time high of 1990. And if we go beyond that, then of course the psychologically important 20 pounds a share would, would then be on the radar. And then looking beyond that, uh, traders of course will be looking to other big numbers such as 21 pounds a share or perhaps 22 pounds a share. Notice how on the back of this. Uh, the announcement this morning, the share price actually managed to gap higher. Now, a gap to the upside indicates bullish sentiment. So, as we, once again, reinforcing the the, the view that the that, that, that um, the, the stock could, could continue to be in its upward trend. Now, one of the myths about gaps is that that they're always filled. Gaps are not always filled, but they are often filled. So, even though the share price is it recently has been in a in a upward trend, fitting in nicely with the wider upward trend. There is a possibility the stock could turn lower. We could see the, the stock in the, in the near term drift back down to 1900 or perhaps even down to actually fill the gap here before potentially resuming the wider upward trend. So th th there's a possibility the stock could dip to fill the gap before potentially moving higher yet again. If you do happen to see the stock drift lower and if it does manage to actually go fill the gap completely and go south of the 200-day moving average, at which comes into play at 18.32, a break below uh, the 200-day moving average could actually be an indication that actually the sentiment actually is quite negative. And from there, we could potentially move head back towards 1800. And if we have a, have a break south of 1800, that could put the February low of of 17.47 on the radar. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.